We are about to enter the Zion Wilderness. I am in beautiful Zion National Park, about to enter the Zion Wilderness. And today, joining me, I have my beautiful niece, Christine. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Christine's channel is This Girl Hikes. Make sure you check out her channel and subscribe, and she will have her version of this trip on her channel. We're really excited. I'm so excited to have her join me on the road. We are at the Lee Pass Trailhead, getting ready to hike to the Kolob Arch along Leverkin Creek, and we're going to hit it. Let's go. A few fall leaves hanging in there. Most have fallen off the trees here. on two miles. The total trip is 15 miles round trip and that is to go all the way to the Kolob Arch. We will be camping at campsite six and I'm guessing that's around five miles from the trailhead. So we don't have too much further to go. Always great to be back in the backcountry. I'm having a great day. It is definitely chilly overnight, and this iced up creek is a testament to that. This is a pretty much frozen solid. You might have noticed in my scenes when we first started this hike that it was really hazy. We heard there was a prescribed fire nearby and the smoke was settling in the canyon. But it's blown out quite a bit now. It's really pretty. We're not too far from camp. Christine actually came out to join me on another trip. She wound up getting a little bit more time off and we decided to break up her drive by meeting here in Zion. We thought it would be a lot more fun to hike out for a backpacking trip than to sleep in my rig, so that is what we are doing. According to my topo map, that is called Gregory Butte. How appropriate.
We are almost to our campsite and it looks like it's right on the other side of this pretty waterfall. I think this is the best spot we've seen so far. Pretty cool holes in the rock. Looks like a great home for critters. Tonight for dinner is Backpacker's Pantry Beef Stroganoff with Egg Noodles. Never had it before. I'll let you know how it is. What are you having, Christine? I am having half, without the zucchini, <laughs> of um, Next Mile Meals Italian Meatball. I have had this before. It's really good. It comes with dried zucchini in it, but I do not like zucchini. So you so picked it out? I picked all the dried zucchini out, and I just eat the meatballs and cheese. It is really good. That is so something I would do, so you know we're family. <laughs> that's a one cup line. It said one or two five cups. Yeah. That's good. Dessert, dark chocolate, and cherry cashew. Got it. Got it. Sometimes I bring two, but I never drink the two. Good morning. It is day two. This is just a quick overnighter, so today's our final day. We plan to hike to the Kolob Arch this morning and then come back to camp, pack up, and head on out to go to our next destination. We have a little bit of a drive to get there. How'd you sleep last night, Christine? Um, well, I went to sleep pretty early because I was very tired and um, I got it couple of hours of very solid sleep and then I woke up and was up for a while, fell back asleep, was up for a while and it, it all worked out. Yeah, same here. I slept really good for the first few hours and then it was kind of toss and turn off and on all night but it was a beautiful place to wake up to and well worth the lack of sleep. Very cool U-shape carved into the rock face there.
And there it is, the Kolob Arch. Very impressive. For the half a mile from the juncture to the arch, it's a little bit of a haul. It is an unmaintained trail, so there were some down trees and a little bit of rock scrambling to get here. But man, that uh, arch is quite impressive. It's well worth it. Well, that was a great way to start the day. What an awesome little hike. We have made it back to camp. It's time to get camp packed up. We need to just book it on out of here because we have a bit of a drive ahead of us today. It was a great trip with great company. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.